Hi everyone, Ryan here, Ion Capital Solutions. Today I'm here with Ryan Allison and we want to talk to you about responding to emails and how to convert into phone calls. Ryan, thanks so much for being with us here today. Thanks for having me. Absolutely, absolutely. So let's dive in everybody. Um, so <clears throat> without going through different emails and, and, and walking you through what was said or the back and forth, the point here is don't engage in a back and forth, right? The value of what we offer to the client is a quote for free without a credit pull turn around, turned around inside of 24 hours, right? If they want the answers to their overall questions, right, that's going to happen with the quote, right? That's how we get to terms, right, or what it'll look like anyway. Initial questions can be asked on a phone call. What we're not going to do is play 20 questions back and forth in an email. What we're not going to do is have the client fire off 10 questions and then go to the Facebook group and put in each of those questions and try and get answers and then you're stuck waiting for answers in the Facebook group then giving answers to the client. They have more questions and back and forth we go. Okay, that's, that's not efficient. Get on the phone with your client, with the team leader, address the issue, right? Head on, right? After that call they should fill out the application. It's just that simple. Okay, it's just that simple. Um, this is an important piece of the business, right? And time spent right time spent and you don't want to waste time on people that are that are focused on the wrong things right clients with the wrong expectations trying to drive trying to be in charge you need to be the leader right you've got to be the leader you're driving they're along for the ride that's the way it is you know if they if they enjoy the ride great they're going to sign up if they don't well you got to look back and see what you did wrong but the bottom line is here you're not being steered by the client you're not on their timetable you're not um, following their 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 leadership right it doesn't work that way you're not gonna you're not gonna have a sale at the end of the day Ryan can you speak to these points and kind of highlight some of the other you know the key focus here and and what we should be paying attention to to maximize our uh, our time but at the same time efficiently yeah I think the the key thing here is you got to realize we're we're building relationships as well so but the flip side of that is it can get out of control if you let the client drive that conversation like Ryan was just saying you know, whenever you're, in, whenever you're in these conversations, the person that's asking the conver the questions is the person that's going to be leading the conversation. So you've got to warm these up a little bit because it's usually going to be a client responding for, to an email that you sent out. They're responding to a Facebook message you sent out. But at that point, they're just responding. They don't they don't know you. They don't like you. They don't trust you even because it's just a cold response. They're essentially just trying to shop you to get quick answers up front usually. So you've got to warm that up. You've got to be courteous and, and get them a few of the basic questions answered to kind of warm that conversation up. Maybe they're asking what the terms are and you kind of give them a broad, you know, depends on what you're looking to do. You're looking to refi, you're looking to, to do a fix and flip. What are you doing? And then and then you're going to flip that conversation and start asking them some quick questions. You know, the, the ultimate goal is we want them to get, get them to fill out the application or we want to get them onto a phone call so that we can find out if this person's going to be a good potential client or not. Uh, so some of those questions, when you flip that conversation, you know, you, you give them a little bit of info and, and you're kind of keeping that conversation going, you're warming it up, but then you want to find out, you know, tell, tell me more about your experience. How many deals have you done? And then, uh, you, through that conversation, you're going to find out, you know, how's, how's your FICO look? You know, is that, is that, you know, what type of FICO score do you think you have right now? And you're, you're trying to find out a few basic conversation pieces here and information pieces for you to know if this person's worth your time. Uh, do they have money to put into the project? You know, do they have enough money to put down as a down payment? These are all questions you're going to start asking that client or that prospect at this point uh, that's emailing you or sending you a message asking questions. And you're going to start controlling that conversation so it doesn't go back and forth through 20 different questions. And then at some point, you're just going to say, you know, that sounds great. Let's hop on a call. Let's really get let's find the exact details of this. And we're going to get real numbers in place for you. Uh, once you fill out our online quick quote, we'll, we'll, we'll get your terms turned around within 24 hours. Absolutely. Thank you, Ryan. Thank you. And, and for everybody watching, you're not expected to walk into this program and be able to do all that. That's what a team leader is for, specifically Ryan, right, does a great job on the phone with the clients. Okay, so you're going to learn, you're going to see how it's done. You're going to learn incrementally. It's going to be handed over to you until you feel comfortable with ownership of those calls, calls. But make no mistake, at a point, right, you need to jump into the deep end of the pool, right? And if you fall down a couple times or whatever, that it's, it's all part of the process. But you have to be willing to go through that part of the process. You have to be, talk to your clients. Very, very important aspect of it, you know. And uh, the deal carries on past quote. Okay, pass quote, now we have the lender application and it begins, okay? If you don't have a relationship in place with the client, if you're not there to assist them, 
with every step of the way all the way to deal's end and your account manager and team leader will guide you through that process, you're missing an important piece of the puzzle, the glue that keeps it all together, and that's you, right? So it's very, very important. Um, Ryan, any other thoughts on this topic? Nice part about it, as a brand new person, you really are just going to try to warm that relationship up with that client. You know, you're warming it up and you're, you're letting them know we're going to get those answers, get all those questions answered for you. And your job really is just to set the appointment, get the appointment set, and then your team leader can step in. And now you're shortening your learning curve because you can just sit on that call. You make the introduction and you're going to hear how those questions are asked and how everything's handled. And you're going to learn how to do it on your own eventually as soon as well. Indeed. And it happens quicker than you think. It happens quicker than you think. Trial by fire is the way to look at it, right? You may go into a little bit nervous, but you'd be surprised what a day of cold calling on your own and just sucking it up and dealing with the bumps in the road can do for you. You might wake up the very next morning filled with confidence and what do you know? You're a natural, right? But you have to try. So in any event, Ryan, thank you so much for being with us here today. Everybody at home, thanks for watching. We will catch you on the next video.